What's up, everyone? Dave here, Black Label Painting. So, last month in May, I didn't do a whole lot of uploads. Actually, I didn't do any uploads. Uh, just a really busy month. I've had a lot of things come up. Uh, you know, I was working on uh, getting stuff ready for an event, and then I had some health issues I had to take care of. But everything's all good now. So, now I need to return to getting these things uploaded and get videos for you guys. So, for the first video of this month, uh, I'm going to do a quick how to do base color on a darker Emperor's Children scheme. Uh, there's many ways to do the base color on Emperor's Children. Uh, several different highlights and then bring it back down. But I've, I've chose a, a simple scheme. Uh, it's fairly easy to uh, replicate. So if you're, you're, you've got like a moderate amount of experience with your airbrush, you should be able to get this without too much problem. So without further ado, we're just going to get into it. So I'm going to get this set up. All right. So I'm working on a commission for some Emperor's Children. And I figured it would be the perfect time to show you guys how I do it. So Prima Models Black. You know, good solid coverage. And we're going to start off with this game color. Come in there, come in there, come in there. Uh... It's royal purple from game color. So that's that's going to be our base color. And then I'm going to do some highlights with uh, Ralph Partha Master Series paint. And it is gem purple. And then I'm going to use some Minotaur Air Ghost Tints. I'm going to use purple. And then I'm also going to use Ghost Tint Oil Discharge. It's uh, You would think it'd be like a black, but it's, it's, more, it's more blue. So it works for what we're trying to accomplish. All right, so go ahead and start out here. Bring the camera down a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better what I'm working with here. All right. So, again, this this is more of a darker scheme that I'm going for. Uh, a client didn't want the really bright, bright purple that, you know, you see everyone painting. There's nothing wrong with that color. It's just he preferred a darker scheme. So, just a couple drops in there. Doesn't take much. Now... We are going to be starting at a 45 degree angle, working down from top down. And we're, we're mainly going for the highlights. It's a Zenithal highlight type deal. But I'm not using white. I'm just going to use this purple. If I was to use a white base and then hit it with the purple uh, purple. Uh, ghost tent, it'd be really bright. Uh, I'm, I've got another set like this that I've got to paint. Maybe next month I'll try to do the alternative scheme that I know how, that I that I do, and that's where I'll use the purples and then I'll bring it back up with the pink, and then I'll take it back down with the wash. But again, this is you're just lightly a lot of trigger control. I'm barely pulling back. You'll notice. Barely pulling back halfway, and the and the and the goal is to dust the model down at an angle, just to to accent all the higher panels, and that's the look we're going for. That's what you want your first bit of base to look like if you're going for this scheme. I'll get up in there. That is how we're with the look we're going for right there. It'll stay focused. All 
That's what we're going for. So, it's a decent looking little bit of purple. It's still dark, uh, but that's what we want. And here's where I'll come in and do my highlights. Get Ralph Partha, the MSP. It's like Master Series paint. This paint is actually really good stuff. I don't know if most people really know about it, but Ralph Partha, they make like the the D and D miniatures and stuff like that. But their Master Series paints are actually really good. I'll go ahead and get this in and we'll work our highlight up a little bit. This stuff is pretty thin. I'm not reducing it at all. I'm spraying it straight from the bottle. Uh, it's It's got a moderate consistency that I have no issues with spraying there. The Badger Patriot 105 sprays it without any issues. So now here is where I will work on getting those highlights. So I'm going to want to spray like tops of panels, like basically just top down and work, work this color in. Now I've got the shoulder pads off on the uh, left arm. That's because I'm going to paint those white. But I'm going to want to hit the tops of that, of the, of the back of the boot. I want to hit the top of the front of the boot. I'm going to hit the tops of anything that would catch light. It doesn't it doesn't take much so you'll notice that's that's really all I'm doing on the on the on the highlights that get it to focus come on now cooperate but that's basically all we're doing with the highlights. Now from there, I'm going to apply the purple ghost tint. Go ahead and clean out this purple. Now some of you may not like the darker purple. Uh, it's, it's fine, but at least you'll know how to achieve it, hopefully. By watching this this video. You might want to apply this this technique to a different models, you know, different game ranges or anything like that. You know, anything that you want to be dark purple still looks sinister. This is what I use. Now I'm going on to the ghost tent purple. Of course you can't see that because it's Massive glare, but anyways, that's ghost tent purple. Put about two drops in there. Doesn't take much. Goes a long way. So again, we're going to come down over the top of the model. Using trigger control, you don't need to drown the model. Just, just get coverage on the areas that you highlighted. That's really all you're going for. Now the areas that are black, you want to hit that as well, because that'll. What that does is the ghost tint itself is almost it, it's a, it's like a transparent, but it'll still put down color. I mean, it'll it'll give you that really dark. If you're going over black, it'll look really dark, which is what you want whenever you're doing this this scheme. Now you can apply the same exact technique, everything that I'm doing right now but use blues. You can use like a couple of different darker blue and like a mid-tone blue and then use the ghost tint blue uh, and also still use the oil discharge. And you could do a Night Lord's scheme with that really easy. Uh, maybe I could get things caught up and maybe I can do some just test runs of some other different legions so you guys can see this. I know I've already got a request in for some uh, how I do my, my Death Guard stuff. That is coming next. The next video that I upload next week will be Death Guard. Uh, but for now, I figured I'd just do this really 
quick, easy, dark Emperor's Children theme. Now, it look, you might say to yourself, man, that looks really dark. It's really dark purple. It, it, it is. It, it can be really, in the, in the light, it doesn't look as dark, uh, but it, it looks really well, really good. It's almost like a royal, royal purple. And when you, when you, when you put all the gold trim on, it's really going to make this model pop. It'll look really good. So now we're going to get rid of the rest of the ghost tint purple, get that out of there, and then load up the oil discharge. The oil discharge I'm going to use for shadowing. I'm not going to cover all the areas that I just sprayed. Uh, I want that to be left alone in some spots, but some spots I will cover like around the boots and stuff like that. I'm going to use the oil discharge to help with all the shadowing. It's, it's a much darker color. It is, it's almost like a really dark blue, which works perfectly. And it being a ghost tint, it's transparent, so the purple will still come through. It's just adding another layer. So you can see it's almost like a, like a really dark blue. But, okay, so I'm going to concentrate in the areas where the shadows would be. So I'm going to be going around the, around the legs, the boots, stuff like that. I'm going to add some shadow down there. I'll add just in spots. You don't, like I said, you don't have to cover the whole model. You just want to go where the shadowing would be. You can even use the black as a guide. Spray some in there in those areas. And you can see that it, it just gradually brings it down and, and just gives, helps give it that royal purple look. can see there now I've got some others over here that I've already done like a got the contemptor here this is big areas you should be able to see it pretty well you can see all of the highlights now again that over the very tips on the sides on each side way over there and way over there that is oil discharge so what I do is I'll highlight the whole model and then let me get the lighting right and then I'll take see this stripe going across this right here. That is my highlight color of gem purple. Sprayed across that. And then I sprayed all the areas with the ghost tint purple. And then I use the oil discharge on the very edge. And that creates a lot of depth in, in the in the in the panel. You can see it's just a it's a really dark purple. Looks really good. I mean it it doesn't it, it's almost like a satin finish uh, with with using the the ghost tints. So and that's that that's attributed to not putting it on real heavy. It's just putting it on as needed. And you'll see the cross the top of these. I did the same thing. It'll be a lot, it'll be a stripe, a strip going across at an angle. And then I'll highlight. And then I'll low light. And that's what gives me my effect. Now, when I come in there and do all the gold trim, uh, it'll really look good. This color will look real awesome uh, with a really nice, bright, uh, multi-stage gold trim. I'll even do some of the panels, like I'll do inside this, this shin panel here. I'll do that white. Uh, I'll show you how I do that as well. But move on to more of these. You can see how these were done. And as you can see, you know, the, the base work was rather quick. Did not take long at all to do the base work. Now, if you're doing a if you're doing if you want to knock out 30 tack marines with your base work, you'll you'll it'll go pretty quick. I mean, it's really simple to do this scheme. So now all I have left to do is start working the gold. Uh, what I'll do with the with the cloaks and the tunics is I'll actually paint those all black because I like to work every color that I do. I'll work it up from black to whatever color I'm doing. Uh, so again, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to hit me up.
you, know, you Patreons, I do not mind giving you all the tidbits and the advice that you uh, you want or need. All right, so that is the first first one I'm going to do. I'm going to try to do another video uh, probably tomorrow. Depending on time, maybe I can do it uh, tonight. I'm not sure. But then I'll, uh, that'll be me working the gold up, bringing the gold up, and going from there. All right. Well, thank you, guys. I really appreciate all of you. Uh, keep out for keep an eye out for more content because now I really want to get this thing going again. I've, I've got a pretty good pretty good start on my Patreon. I just need to get more videos in the library for everyone. More how tos. Uh, I've got more white working with white coming up. I've, like I said, I've got the Death Guard coming up. Uh, I'll be doing some Mechanicum again. And uh, if you have any requests, again, drop me a line, and I will try to uh, to show you how I do a certain thing. But for now, guys, that'll bring it to an end, and I will see you guys on the next one. Later.